Hello, my name's Tamara Rukarts, and uh, this is Matt Mills. We're from Orasma, uh, and it's a new technology that is changing the way people see and interact with the world. Okay, so, so just 15 years ago, computers were big, heavy, cumbersome things, and browsing the web required time and patience, and as soon as you, you stepped away from your computer, you left the virtual world and you returned to the real physical one. What's really changed in the last few years is our gateway to the internet has gotten an awful lot smaller. So we have these beautiful mobile phones, like the one that we have on stage, which are becoming incredibly powerful. The processing power on these devices is doubling every six to eight months. And as a result, we can start to run incredible technology like autonomy and, and Orasma technology on these mobile phones. So that means that for the first time, we can start to blend the physical and virtual worlds together. So what you have here is the start of the next generation of the internet. We think of it as being a bit like the outernet, because now you can walk around, and if you see something that interests you, you can point at it and experience it in the situ. Um, we, can, we can talk about it, but the best thing to do is to see it. So what we have here on the big screen in the middle uh, is the projection from the phone. And what I'm going to do is, is start grabbing some objects. So let's start with this. OK. <laughs> so what you have for the first time is a board like that becomes completely interactive. What I can do as a user is I can click to buy the DVD, or I can tap to go and uh, find my local cinema, or I can get movie tickets. You can do all sorts of really, really cool things. And it's as simple as just tagging the two things up. OK, we're back. So this also works with, with newspapers. Um, here we have this morning's newspaper. And as soon as the newspaper is printed, it goes out of date. So what I can do is simply scan the front cover of this newspaper. <laughs> and get the latest bulletin. And the other thing is we can change that throughout the day. So if there's a crisis, let's say there's hot and breaking news like the, um, the cruise ship, every time you scan your newspaper, we can actually update the video that comes down. You no longer have to think about these things as being static. You can, you can bring them to life in any way you want to. Now, the other thing that's really exciting about this technology is we're not limited to just print. So I'm sure everyone here is very intelligent, and they know how to install their own wireless router. But we know from speaking to our partners that lots of people don't. So what we have here for the first time. Pretty cool. <laughs> Now, this works with everything. And the great thing, and we'll talk about more about this at the end, is that it's relatively open. In fact, it's completely open now. So you can go in as a user. And if you have an area of knowledge, let's say it's the inside of old cars, you can start to tag them up yourself. So when other people have problems, they can simply point at that thing and, and find out more. So here we have a bottle of uh, fizzy drink, a little further away. Just let the iPhone focus a little bit. There you go. Did it focus? <laughs> there you go. If the iPhone could hold focus for long enough in these lighting, ooh, this lighting, what you would see is really cool. It's an explosion um, which goes into a video by the guy who designed that particular bottle. Now, what's really exciting about this is that we can actually take every single product in a grocery store and tag it. So you've got scale of upwards of 500,000 objects on a device at any time that we can currently tag up. And the only limitation that we have is the device itself. So as the devices become more powerful, we're able to do an awful lot more. And that means that in a year, two years, we'll be able to do potentially billions of different things on these devices. Really very exciting. So 
Let me switch over to this. Now, can you actually reach that? Sure? OK. So I'm sure it comes as no surprise that the film industry has, uh, has really taken this one on, on board. And one of the things that's really cool is you can now be part of films. So as I walk around a city, um, I can actually experience a trailer or experience a film. And oh, here's Jessica Rabbit, who's going to come join me. Oh, I'm not bad. I'm just augmented that way. <laughs> oh, I have the best job. <laughs> So what's really great about this is we can allow people to be part of the film themselves, but also make them. So what I'm going to do now is, or tomorrow's going to do, is jump into camera, into the video mode. And we need a tiny bit of audience participation here. So can I get everyone to really cheer loud um, when she starts recording? So three, oh, hang on. Is it not recording? English people always want to do live demos, and we're always advised against it, but God knows why. <laughs> Just give me two seconds. <laughs> if in doubt, turn it off and on again. OK, so what I need you all to do is cheer on the count of three. So one, two, three. That is awesome. So I want to remember that forever. So what I can do now is, is take something somewhere. So let's take the DLD magazine, which I believe was on all of your chairs. And Tamara can jump into the camera mode in the device. Now, the thing to remember is this is functionality that's already inside the consumer version of the app. So you can do this as a user. You go into the camera roll. Lots of strange videos in there, because that's actually my own iPhone. Uh, you have to be a bit careful when loading up the camera. You can choose your video. And then you can go through and give it some sort of description. So it's very simple to create these. And we have lots of people doing them. In fact, there's more than 4 million user-generated auras already in Erasmus. And they vary from, like I mentioned before, people tagging up the inside of old cars, through to teachers who've done really beautiful things, like tagging up classrooms and, and pictures that kids have made. Um, and we also get lots and lots and lots of really nice birthday cards and congratulations cards, where people put personal messages uh, on the cards and then send them over. So you can choose your description. We can place the video, so you can resize it, you can move it around, you can rotate it, and then you click on Save. Now, this is the only bit that does require internet. So just because there are a few sort of bits of congestion here, it might take a few seconds to load. Um, but it's really easy to do this. And if you're a professional user, the only difference is you get to do it on a website, which means you can batch upload hundreds or thousands of images at once. It's now available. So as I come back over, <laughs> so, thank you for that. Um, now, it's been a really incredible journey since we launched last June. We have more than 3 million downloads of Erasmus, which is pretty cool. We have more than 2,000 big partners using us, and they vary from the likes of Volkswagen and BMW through to GlaxoSmithKline, Procter & Gamble, Universal Pictures, Universal Music, Paramount Pictures. There are lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. Um, it really is taking off very quickly. But it's not just the big partners. You can take everyday objects and make them special. David, <laughs> you're an American. Do you perhaps have any American money on you? Perhaps a $20 bill? You just happen to have one. He's not a stooge, just to be clear. <laughs> uh, I, I'll take it off you, that's all right. So we, we were at CES, um, and we did really well. We got into Best of CES, which was um, quite good, because uh, we weren't showing off any new thin TVs. Um, but what we have here is a $20 bill. And we've lost signal. Oh, no, it's back.
a little fun fact about that video, both the app and also that video was made in England. Uh, <laughs> so, um, what we want to do here today is, is say get involved. And what I mean by that is we are completely open. So if you go on our website now or you come grab us, we can give you Pro Access completely for free. And Pro Access allows you to put huge amounts of content into Erasmus, tag things up as you want to do it. But what you can also do is add Erasmus to an existing application. So with two lines of code, you can add Erasmus to any app that you currently have. It's completely free. Lots of people are already doing it. And then you can start to create really cool experiences within that part of your application. All we ask for in exchange for this is that you be creative and innovative, because your ideas are going to be so much better than you know, Jessica Rabbit climbing out of a box. We want you to come up with really cool stuff. And be excited. You know, really, really, really get excited about this technology. And if you do all that, it's free and open to you. Thank you very much. We've been Erasmus, and you've been great.